Hi everybody, it's Gail the Happy Stamper. Thanks for visiting with me today. This card is what is known as soot, S-O-O-T, stamping. And I'm going to show you how super easy it is, but what a great effect and spooky um, fun things it can do to your card. So I am using the House of Haunts again. Love that set. And I'm using the Haunted House. You're also going to need a brayer. Three stamp colors. I'm using Lucky Limeade, Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight. A tea light, or a candle of sort. Some ribbon, and a bowl of water. So let's get started, and I will show you how we're going to do this. We're not going to need the candle just yet. First, we're going to brayer our background. Now, you want to make sure you're using glossy cardstock, and that's what this is. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my pumpkin pie, and you're also going to want to have some wipes nearby and some dry paper towel. Um, typically, I would use our Stamping Up ink pad but I need to be able to clean this off really quickly. And so I'm going to use the um, Okay, so I'm going to start off my paper and I'm just going to go back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, kind of walk it back and forth. Then I'm going to wipe it off. We're going to move on to our next color and make sure you have a protective piece of paper or something on your table. That was pumpkin pie. Next we're going to use Daffodil Delight. Very cheerful and fun color. We're going to do the same thing with that. I hope I'm in screen. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. Get our roller good and liquored up. We're going to start off the page and go back and forth, back and forth, like so. And try not to stop in the middle of your page because um, it'll make like a little indentation. So once you start, keep going. Don't stop. And then lastly, we are going to do our Lucky Limeade. And I love that green. And I like to close up my pads pretty quickly. They don't dry out, you know, super fast, but I'm going to turn this on its side. And we're going to do the same thing. Start off the page and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like so. So pick your three colors, whatever you would like to use. This would be great on a fall card. I also got this idea from a gal by the name of Michelle Zindorf, who is also a Stamping Up demonstrator, and I just, I love this whole idea. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit of paper towel that's dry, and I'm just going to kind of rub this a little bit, just to sort of get off any wetness that might be on it, um, and kind of run it into the paper a little better. Okay, so your paper's going to look like this. Well, actually, I'm going to do mine this way. All right, now comes the fun part. Now we get to light our candle and have some fun playing with fire. Now, I would highly suggest that you use a bowl of water. If you cannot do this in a bathroom, otherwise do it there. We're going to light our candle, but you want to be very, very careful. Do not do this. I'm going to stand up here. Unless you are near water. We're going to take the colored side down and just run it over our flame. And you have to be careful when you're holding it because it will also turn your fingers black, which isn't very fun. But we're actually going to be using, see how that comes out? Let me turn it over. Okay, 
we're actually going to be using the soot from the candle to make our impression in our cardstock. So you want to hold it and move it, hold it and move it, hold it and move it. And just make sure that you do not let the edges catch on fire. And again, please use extreme caution when you are doing this. Not something for children. And make sure you have a bowl of water or do it better yet in your kitchen by the sink. I'm in my craft room, so I can't get to my sink at the moment, but I always have my water nearby, have my bowl, I've got a squirt bottle as well, and I just work right over it. And this is all you're going to do, is just keep working over, see, I have to keep turning it, hang on. You're gonna keep going over your paper, making sure you don't get too close until you get the desired effect that you want. I like a lot of burning on mine, but it's all up to you. And I've got a pretty big image here, so if you had a smaller image, you know, you wouldn't need to do quite as much. And again, be careful holding it, because you're gonna get all the soot all over your little fingers. And I really like a lot of soot on mine. And I like it to all kind of blend in and look spooky. And this just lends beautifully to Halloween cards. That's pretty good. Blow your candle out. And this is where the fun comes in. So now we're going to put our image right into the soot. Make sure I have my paper lined. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to stamp right into the soot. Like so. Press really firmly and voila! You get the image, but it's all kind of spooky and scary. And then just make sure you clean off your stamp real well. And I am going to spray this I have a little box that I am going to spray it with my protective Krylon, actually this is plaid, the acrylic clear spray. I use this for my coasters. And you're gonna wanna use that in a well-ventilated area. So let's move on, because I'm running out of time. We're going to adhere a black piece of cardstock to our orange piece like so. I've already pre-cut this. This is a four and a half by five and a half inch card. And I'm taking my Lucky Limeade and my Pendant Punch, which is this one. And I'm going to cut out one, two, ooh, oh my God, I didn't pop out, pop out. One, two. Two of the pendants with the Lucky Limeade. I'm going to adhere these just on either side of um, the ribbon here that I attached. Where's my glue dots? Oh, right in front of me. I thought it would be cute to add these little eyeballs. So that's what I did. The gal who originally I got the idea from, she used, um, like Brad's, and they were darling, but I thought little googly eyes would be really cute too. Okay, guys, we're almost into the end. A few pop dots on the back, and we are good to be done. So this is really fun. It's a great, great technique to learn. Again, though, be very careful, okay, because you don't want to start your house on fire or burn fingers. But make sure you do it near a sink, it's all nice and dry, won't smear and smudge, and there you have it. That's the spooky Halloween card doing the soot stamping, and it's really fun. So give it a try, guys. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have questions, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.